teacher! Teacher, I am so confused. What are you confused about? Okay, I am very interested in the periodic table and learning about atomic structures. But the books that I'm reading seem to be confusing me further. Confusing you further? What do you mean? You know, some books say that there are only eight electrons in the third electron shell, while others say there are 18. Hmm, that's a huge difference. Ah, I had the same confusion when I was learning chemistry. And I am so confused between the terms electronic structure and electron configuration. Some authors seem to use them interchangeably, but then they look so different when they are used to describe the same atom. Yep, I had the same confusion as well when I was a student. Oh, so how did you fix it? I had the super duper chemistry teacher called Mr. Fang. It is easy. And he cleared it up all for me. Oh, well then, can you do the same for me? Sure. First, let's talk about the difference between electronic structure and electron configuration. Yes, please. Actually, both electronic structure and electron configuration are simply notations used to describe the arrangement of electrons in an atom. So in that sense, they refer to the same thing. Okay, they both refer to the arrangement of electrons in an atom. Yes. In IGCSE chemistry, the term electronic structure is used to simply describe the number of electrons in each electron shell. However, the term electron configuration is a more advanced concept, as the notation takes into account not only the electron shells, but also their subshells. Ah, I see. So the electronic structure is more basic while the electron configuration is more comprehensive? That's right. Okay, so why do some books say that there can only be eight electrons in the third electron shell, while others say that there can be 18? For this, we will need to dive deeper into electron configuration. Are you ready for that? I think it would help me understand the periodic table and atomic structures more. Okay, then here we go. The specific arrangement of electrons in the atoms of an element is called an electron configuration. Since this electron configuration determines many of the physical and chemical properties of elements, it is important for chemists to understand electron configuration. In order to understand electron configuration, Let's take a look at the periodic table. The periodic table can be divided into S, P, D, and F blocks. Then, the S, P, D, and F blocks are further divided into their electron shell. The first row or period refers to the first electron shell, which contain one S. The second row or period refers to the second electron shell, which contain two S, and 2p. The third period refers to the third electron shell, contains 3s, 3p, and 3d. The fourth period contains 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4f. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on, teacher. Just to confirm, the 1 and 1s is meant to signify the first electron shell? Correct. And the 2 in 2s and 2p are meant to signify the second electron shell? Correct again. And I assume that for 2s and 2p, the s and p are subshells? Correct once more. Ah, so all the s blocks contain a maximum of two elements and all P blocks contains a maximum of six elements in a period. Yes. And D blocks contain a maximum of 10 elements, and F blocks contain a maximum of 14 elements in a period. 
Ah, so to know how many electrons can be in the first electron shell, I simply count the number of ones in the prefix, right? So since there are two elements with the 1s label, then that means there can be a maximum of two electrons in the first electron shell. Correct. For the second electron shell, since there are two elements with the 2s label and six elements with the 2p label, this means that there can be a maximum of eight electrons in the second shell. Correct again. And for the third electron shell, since there are two elements with the 3s label, 10 elements with the 3d label, and six elements with the 3p label, this means that there can be a maximum of 18 electrons in the third electron shell. Very good! In fact, to know what the maximum number of electrons in any electron shell is, simply use the formula 2n squared, where n is the electron shell numbers. So 2 times 1 squared equals 2, and 2 times 2 squared equals 8, 2 times 3 squared equals 18, and 2 times 4 squared equals 32.